Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now April 16th of 2020 and ever since the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, a lot of fans around the world have been very intrigued about the future of the Star Wars franchise and exactly how it's going to be handled by Disney's new CEO Bob Chapek as well as the previous CEO Bob Iger who is now helping out over at Disney. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, the one thing about Disney Star Wars that's for certain is that there's a lot of inconsistencies in these movies, right? We've seen a great example of this between The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi and how J.J. Abrams tried to really boost up the consistency level with The Rise of Skywalker in comparison to The Force Awakens, right? So, when we look at everything related to Episode 9, this movie really was a shaky production. It had a lot of problems behind the scenes, a lot of reshoots and rewrites were in fact done by Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy. In fact, there were two different cuts of the film before the final cut of the movie was pretty much, you know, finalized and put out into theaters and that we were going to get a totally different version of Episode 9 than what we would have really even imagined it out to be. You know, a lot of this movie originally was going to be heavily inspired from Colin Trevorrow's script. Colin Trevorrow, by the way, was the original writer and director of Episode 9 before he was fired by Kathleen Kennedy. Now, the thing about Kathleen Kennedy, and I've talked about this before in the past, is that it's very much clear, it's very much apparent, if you will, that she does have an agenda with the Star Wars universe. Now, thankfully, she no longer has creative control. However, what's really intriguing is that now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are finished with the rise of Skywalker, they are focused on their new Star Wars trilogy of films, as well as the new Star Wars universe. Now, currently, the new Disney CEO, Bob Chapek, and previous CEO, Bob Iger, are working hard together to propel the Star Wars and Marvel brands into a better future, and that tons of work and changes are being made over at Lucasfilm as we speak in order to create a better future for the Star Wars franchise for the fandom to enjoy. Now, however, many fans have been very curious about what could have been before the reshoots and rewrites of The Rise of Skywalker that were initiated by Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy, where it's noted that Kathleen Kennedy was not happy with any of the Anakin Skywalker scenes that were shot for the film back in 2018, mainly and of course a portion of them in early 2019. Now, it's explained that behind the scenes, Kathleen Kennedy mainly cut the Anakin scenes as she believed that the film would attract prequel trilogy-esque fans of the Star Wars community, and that she did not want to, that, that to actually be mixed with the tone of Disney's Star Wars trilogy. Not just that, but also Kennedy also let go of Hayden Christensen and deleted all of his scenes because she figured that at the end of the day, that Anakin Skywalker would take the limelight away from the character of Rey in the movie. Hayden was said to have felt betrayed by Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy, just how Kennedy betrayed George Lucas, of how she was going to respect the core characters of the Star Wars franchise, where she did not. However, Kennedy toured the second phase of reshoots, forced it upon J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio to get rid of the Anakin Skywalker scenes in the movie, to keep them on the cutting room floor, and that Kennedy does not want these deleted scenes to be seen on a Blu-ray or any form of media at that. So, like I've said before in the past, this was really a missed opportunity. The fact that they skipped Anakin Skywalker in a Skywalker-oriented movie of all things. It really is a tragedy, in my opinion. I don't know about you guys, but to me it really is a tragedy when it comes to pop culture and, you know, cinema. You know, this really is something that really really is a big part of pop culture, the Skywalker saga, and this movie really could have been a whole lot bigger than what it really was if they just followed a couple of guidelines, you know, uh, unwritten rules, if you will, of what you should do in a Star Wars movie. I mean, you would think that you would have included a main Skywalker character to at least have an appearance, which was the initial plan, but eventually, Kathleen Kennedy changed her mind, as she always likes to change her mind. It's one of the main reasons as to why the Kenobi TV series, the production of it, was delayed. You know, because she initiated all these different rewrites, and then it was delayed again because they're undoing a lot of Kathleen Kennedy's ideas now because she no longer has creative control. So, like I've said before in the past, I mean, Kathleen Kennedy, we've seen this ongoing process of a lot of movies going through reshoots and rewrites or projects getting canceled and getting uncanceled. I mean, it really is a back and forth scenario, and I will agree that it does get quite tire you know, tiresome after a while. You know, hearing of Kathleen Kennedy, you know, uh, 
you know, canceling specific projects and then uh, initiating the projects again. And one of the big projects that she was actually responsible for canceling was the Boba Fett Star Wars movie and how that eventually uh, blossomed into The Mandalorian, which maybe and just maybe was a blessing in disguise. Uh, the Mandalorian, I think, is a great TV show, but I would have loved to have seen Boba Fett on the big screen. I think it would have been great. Do I think it really was necessary to be in the form of a movie, though? Maybe not. I, I will agree with that. But, like I've said before in the past, guys, you know, I, I think that taking Anakin out of the movie was a very poor decision and really did, in fact, portray Hayden Christensen. There's no doubt about that. So with that being said, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.